Welcome back guys, GH here. In this video, we're going to look at another number one build. And this is for archers. We're gonna show each classes, do what we've always done, and maybe get something awesome out of this. So without any more delay, this is Ranger, Fletcher, and Mergen. Let's do this. Here's the build guys, we got the Fletcher, Ranger, and then Mergen. Let's start with Ranger. Now Ranger is a class that specializes in buffs that further increases range combat capabilities of the build. And the reason it's here in this build is because of its ability to increase bow damage and critical hit damage with the use of two skills. The first skill is called Steady Aim. This is the skill that increases your bow damage. Max this up. This is the main reason you're picking Ranger. The second skill is called Critical Shot. This is an attack that gives you a buff that increases your final damage when a critical shot is landed. Make it a minor reason to use this to keep the buff maxed out so that you get the most out of it. The rest of the Ranger skills are offensive filler skills so we don't need to cover them. And that's Ranger, a buff specialist taken for its ability to increase overall bow damage. And now let's head on to Mergen. And now Mergen is a class that uses two-handed bows and is very effective in both single target and mobbing. And that's the reason Mergen is here. Because of the selection of offensive abilities that can take care of different situations. The first skill we're gonna look at is called Zenith. This is an area attack around you and the closer the enemy is to you, the more hits they're gonna get. Oddly enough, this area attack is very strong against single target. The next skill is called Homing Arrow. This is a charged up attack that fires multiple arrows when released. You can use this three times. The next skill is called Triple Arrow. It shoots three exploding arrows with the chance of exploding on the target and dealing extra damage. This skill has an attribute that increases its number of hits depending on your AOE attack ratio. That's where it shines. The last Mergen skill we're gonna show is called Spread Shot. This shoots 5 arrows at once to attack enemies, and enemies near the attack target receive splash damage. This is the skill that you're gonna be using a lot because it does a pretty decent sustained damage without any requirement. And that's Mergen, an excellent source of damage output if you're a fan of two-handed bows. Now let's check out the last class, Fletcher. And Fletcher is an arrow crafting class with a myriad of offensive arrow skills that helps in disposing enemies. And the reason it's here is because this is another class that can use two-handed bows and it can add more damage output. The first skill we're gonna look at is Magic Arrow. It's a small area attack that deals damage to enemies stepping on it and it consumes one Magic Arrow which can be crafted after obtaining the crafting attribute. And the materials needed are bought in the Fletcher Master NPC. The second skill is called Divine Machine Arrow. It's an attack that does one hit initially and then explode after a certain amount of time and it gets 50% additional damage if the target is burning. And you can burn an enemy with the use of the next skill called Crossfire. This is a cross-shaped fire arrow attack that burns enemies for 10 seconds Use this in combination with Divine Machine Arrow. The next skill is called Broadhead. It's an arrow attack that makes enemies bleed. And if you use it two times consecutively, it will cause enemies to bleed excessively, dealing more damage. Second to the last skill is called Bodkin Point. It's a high penetration arrow attack that lowers enemies' defense. Use this after setting up all your buffs and debuffs because this hits really hard. The last skill in the Fletcher arsenal is called Bird Arrow. This is an arrow attack that deals different number of hits depending on what the enemy is wearing. If they are wearing cloth, it does 5 hits. If leather, it does 3 hits. And for plate, 1 hit only. But if you have the Vibora bow, it will do 5 hits regardless of what armor the enemy is wearing. And that's Fletcher. All of its skills are really good. That's a problem you're gonna encounter when distributing skill points. And that's the class build. Now let's check out the good and the bad. 
let's start with the bat. I can say to you right now that the arrow crafting system is annoying. We don't need it and there's no need to create that problem. Another unsavory thing here is, this is just my opinion guys, is Ranger. There's not that much Ranger has to offer and it seems like a waste but since most of the number one build is focused on maximizing DPS and Ranger can help with that so I guess it's okay. Lastly, getting Fletcher to its full potential. It's not newbie friendly or should I say poor friendly? <laughs> you gotta invest a lot to get the most on it. Now let's head on to the good stuff. This has a really high damage output. This is pretty good for boss fighting. If you want a really hard hitting build, this is it. Second is, this is very simple to play. Pretty straightforward, buff up, then unleash hell. All in all, if you have the means to gear up this build, I'm pleased to say that this is very viable for endgame content. And that's it guys, what do you think? Does this deserve the number one spot or not? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.